What RMI brought to us was a breadth of understanding of our energy opportunities. We had been engaged in a number of good activities. We had had a very strong third-party engineering firm do an investment-grade audit for us. Um, and the interactive team and Bob came in and did a second audit. So we were able to corroborate that. And I can tell you that the audit we paid for, which was about 10 grand, um, was about, was good. But the audit the interactive brought to us was better. Um, and it was better because they went deeper. They went to areas where folks could engage immediately and that the team on the floor had a sense of empowerment and ownership that they understood our connection, not just to improving our energy efficiency, delivering to the bottom line, but that it was just, it was the right thing to do and there was no mystery behind it. So we were able to reach out and whereas before, when Matiba and I would sit down and we'd talk about our financial plan for energy, we'd really narrow cast it. Well, let's do LEDs in the parking lot. Maybe next year we'll do it inside. We looked at a full spectrum approach and Unilever has a competitive approach for some of their small action, big difference environmental energy projects. 48 projects went up before the global committee, so I'm competing with India, Africa, South America, Europe, all over the world. Of those 48 submitted projects, Baltimore received four of them globally. Uh, we received an additional two, over a million and a half euros of capital investment based on the strength of our business case, based on the accuracy of our figures, and most importantly, the viability of all the projects. These were not pie-in-the-sky activities. They were direct, well-founded, evidence-based activities that we could undertake right away. We've been implementing those. And I think the other piece that RMI brought to us was Unilever's a big firm. We tend to go things alone. Um, we got a lot of smart people working in the business. What Mike brought with Lauren as a facilitator for our green team, Bob looking at us from the energy perspective, uh, even having uh, Roman Traska come from MD, MEP and talk to our employees, gave us a spectrum of engagement that was a real network. Um, Laura took my picture and later it'll be on the, uh, the green registry webpage. She, she assures me that I'll get royalties for this, so uh, <laughs> thanks for that. But that there is now, I, I think things have changed. The game has changed. We see folks who are actually networked and eager to support manufacturers in delivering on the promise of not just making their business case better, but making their case for their community better. The speakers before me have done an excellent job outlining the successes that they've had. Baltimore has been no different. We're a site that has been in the area since 1947. Uh, we were originally the Filbert's company. Unilever acquired the business in 1986, and the factory is a hodgepodge of, of added on pieces. We're a big consumer of electricity, and we're a big consumer of water. But let me bring it back down to the bottom line. We made a good improvement in 2013. We did about a 4% improvement on our energy consumption on a per ton basis. As we looked at 14, we scratched our heads, how are we gonna beat that? That was a pretty good jump. With the help from RMI, we saw about a 5% improvement. We're now below one gigajoule per ton, which is how we measure our total energy perspective. And we're continuing to drive that forward. Um, I think it's given us the confidence to understand that you need to reach for it all. There is nothing out there in our factories or in our operations that we should not be touching and looking at from an energy and efficiency perspective. And it ties in beautifully to our sustainable approach to living. Um, and, and, I'll, and I'll just finish with one sort of semi-trite saying. You know, the old adage goes that if you give a person a fish, right, they eat for a day. And the add-on in the 60s was, well, you, you teach them to fish and they, they, they feed their family for a year. What RMI brought to us is, if you understand how that fish comes to be and where that fish lives, you can solve a world of problems. And Mike and his team and Peter and the group have done that for us and given us that added perspective. So for that, we're grateful. And for the empowerment that we've given the factory, we're grateful as well. So well done and thank you.